Shelby here, Leon's cousin. Um, filling in for Leon again. So today I wanted to talk about New York City. I live in New York City and I have been living here for almost a year now and kind of the wear of the oh my gosh it's New York has um, kind of worn off and so there's a lot of great things to the city. Um, so as you know it's known for Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, Times Square, um, what other famous landmarks, you know, of history. And that's something that's really cool is not only is that it, not only are there um, some really cool landmarks here, but once you kind of get underneath that, there's a lot of also awesome history here. For example, George Washington served here, uh, spoke at a tavern downtown called Francis's Tavern and gave his final goodbye speech to the, the founding fathers and um, leaving the, when he left the army. And there's Battery Park and um, where the Dutch founded um, Manhattan was at the bottom tip of Manhattan and um, really cool stuff here. The American Indian, um, the National Museum of the American Indian, which is also known as the U.S. Customs House, beautiful building. Um, so there's some really cool history here. Also, people always like judge the misconceptions of like New York people are angry and rude, and but they're not. Most of them are. The majority of people are actually really nice and. Um, they're willing to talk to you. A lot of people are very open-minded and creative-minded and they're willing to, um, you know, if you have a question or a comment or ask for directions, um, they're willing to speak to you. But a lot of people, you know, face value on the street level, but once you get into helping them work with organizations and that kind of stuff, um, New York is really full of a lot of cultural amazingness. Um, and what other misconceptions are there about New York? It's expensive. That's not a misconception. Um, um, Times Square does not at all represent New York. Um, it's actually a lot of New Yorkers' least favorite places. We kind of call it the black hole because um, no one likes to go near it because it's literally awful. Um, it's very awful. And um, lots of commercialization, full of tourists. No one likes to go there. Um, not to say anything against tourists, but like, you know, Try off the beaten path if you come here, and I really encourage you, if you come and visit New York, to really try um, to just explore and adventure, and not necessarily go to all the landmarks or the Broadway shows. Broadway shows are great, don't get me wrong, but walk around a little bit, see what's there, um, really understand the city, um, which is hard to do because I've been here for almost a year and I don't, um, I don't know all the city. Another misconception that the city of New York equals Manhattan, which is not true. Um, a lot of growing up, I remember, oh, New York is just this island, but it's not. It has the five boroughs, so it's Manhattan, Queens, the Bronx, Staten Island, and Brooklyn. Um, and so Manhattan is definitely the most uh, business-like of all of the boroughs, in my opinion. Um, and a lot of the other ones are residential, but each one has its own little downtown area. Yeah, so New York is really cool, and if you ever get a chance to come up here, um, definitely hit me up, and I'll show you around a um, personal New Yorker tour. And uh, this is the city that I live in, and I hope you enjoy this video.